So we're here at Barclay Cards Presents British Summertime, and I'm a huge cheesecake fan, and Joe started Please Cakes, which has been a roaring success. As I understand it, you went from painter decorator to cheesecake magnet. Yeah, one day I was painting, one day I was making cakes. Set up this Instagram page with the intention of making a bit of extra cash on the side of my painting company, and it was kind of an overnight viral success. So. Within the first week, I had 15,000 followers. I had to set up a website. And today, when you think about where all your sales come from, how important to your business is Instagram and social media? You can hit such a wide audience very quickly. Social media these days is a powerful tool to startups, especially. We spend very little on PR and marketing. We use these platforms where we can reach a high volume of people for, for free. I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Like I say, I've never done a cake decorating course or, or been to catering college, so there was a whole heap to learn. I had 50 orders within the first week, so I knew there was a business model there to, to build on. 50 orders, and then how much has your business grown year on year as you've scaled up? First year, 20,000 cakes across all our sizes, so we do mini ones up through to the large ones, uh, and then we doubled it in the second year, and it's growing every year. All our cheesecakes are sold online. We deliver within a radius of London. You can order a bespoke cake if you, if you want to add a crazy topping onto the cake. What's the craziest cake you've made? Uh, I've, I've had some crazy. Banana and Marmite. I've had people put crisps on there and all sorts. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. What else would you recommend? A bit of colour, a bit of freeze-dried raspberry. Just on top? Yeah. Magic dust. Look at that. Look at that. It's magic. <laughs> Everything's made in house. So we've got a big 4,000 square foot kitchen, production kitchen in Red Hill now in South London, so. 4,000 square foot kitchen from, yeah. from, the flat, yeah. uh, from the flat that you began in. And, um, and how many cheesecakes will you sell this year? Uh, well, we're 40,000 plus. So you're doubling? Yeah, we're growing very quickly and we're, demographically, we're expanding. Barclay Card and Barclays, how, why did you choose us as both your banking partner and also Barclay Card as your payments partner? We were recommended Barclays from the start and obviously transitioned into Barclay Card for all these things that we do. We do events and festivals. Barclay Card, obviously for all our transactions, it's seamless, it's easy to use. We've got an online PDQ system. So it's just, it's just a stress off our shoulders to help focus on the, uh, certain areas of the business. And we make it the payment piece easy? Do we compress the amount of time you spend on that? Absolutely, so the payment system with Barclay Card. It's easy to use, obviously, and it's reliable. There's, like, there's a great trust in the, in the brand. So I know things are going to get taken care of with, with the high volumes of transactions, whether it be at a festival or online. So what are the business challenges that you think that Barclay Card really supports you with? Uh, challenges um, over the last two years of scaling is fraud and the support system in place with Barclay Card is, is right, on, right on the money. And for a small business you need that because sure. you haven't got the time to always to deal with it a lot times of people. Your, it sounds like time must be your number one enemy. You just don't have enough time in the day, right? Time yeah. is money. Time is money. That's right. Uh, What's your advice to other entrepreneurs like you? The top three tips are, I think, networking. So, so meeting people, talking to people is, is, is massively key. You, you get so much advice and knowledge from that. And then surrounding yourself with good people. Bring on experts in their field to your business who've been through these experiences. And thirdly is hard work. Hard work will always prevail, you know, so I, I, you have to, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of long hours, seven days a week, uh, hard work pays off. 100%. Have you ever worked all night making cheese? Oh, many cakes? times, many times. I still do, 20 hours a day sometimes, seven days a week. It's going in the right direction and yeah, hard work does pay off.